What's going on, YouTube? You tapped in with your boy Big O watching another episode of UTV, the TV you can feel and see. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about FBG Butter. Now, he recently went on an interview and he stated that he did beat his case. And I did dive deep and I found some very interesting stuff about that statement. So check it out what he had to say. And don't forget to smash that like button on your way in. And don't forget to tell a friend that the Big O is back at it again. Man, man I'm doing all right, man. You know what I'm saying? Blast feeling better than than usual. Okay. Yeah, because um, it's been a um, couple months since we last um, sat down with you. Some things had transpired since then. A lot of shit. Yeah, it's been, a lot of shit. A lot of shit. <laughs> been lot. In, you know, been in the blogs, been in the... Um, YouTube world and Instagram and all that, but you said you're better than um you you been. What, I, what you I, mean? Been, I mean, when I, what I mean by that is like you know what I'm saying. At first, yeah, it was cool. Like I I was still I was still sitting on house arrest, mm -hmm. but lately I've been off house arrest, so I've been getting the plus side to the free world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you sure you off house arrest? Because uh, I, I I seen the video, man. You, you, <laughs> you thought you was off house arrest, but they was on your. Yeah, you man. Know what I'm and what the thing was, they said I had to wait on the sheriffs to come pick the house arrest band up and shit. I man, I woke up the next morning after uh, after that video and when it got that motherfucker took off because like my lawyer say, I shouldn't have to sit in the crib or wait around. I beat my case. Yeah. So oh, you beat your case. You yeah. said you was gonna smack it. You got that shit beat. That's what you said. So I guess, you smacked it. Hell yeah. Uh, hell okay. yeah. Congrats on beating your case. You know what I'm saying? Now, now look, y'all. I dove down deep and checked out the paperwork and Butter did in fact beat a case in October. We gonna I'm gonna show y'all this. Let's type in a guy name real quick. And like I said, man, don't forget to smash that like button. Cause I'm putting nothing but the facts out. We looking at the paperwork. Now Bam. Now, as y'all know, Butter last arrest, well, last arrest charge was a pipe case on 4-29-2022, right? As you can see, they tried to charge him with armed habitual. Now, if we look at this court case, this is the one with Lil J back in 15, 2015, CR. But let's check this one out real quick. And like I said before, man, don't forget to smash that like button on your way in, man. I'm trying to get as many likes on this video as possible, man. Help the channel grow, y'all. I'm still grinding. But as you can see here, man, this date was, the, the charge file was 4-30-2022. Um, as y'all can see here, bam, he got arrested on this day. Seen the judge the next day. That's when the files was charged. After going in front of the grand jury, they present the uh, case to the grand jury and then they able to hit you with the charge. Now, as y'all can see here, opening state reporting, bam, special conditions on bail ordered, case filed, defendant in custody, probable cause. This all on the same day, probable cause to detain public defender, appointed public defender, basically demand for trial. Entered and continued electric monitoring. This one, they tried to give him the electric monitoring. He they remained in custody. He re got released on 5-06-2022 on a cash bond. Remember these dates, right? He got released on 5-06-2022 on a cash bond. Now, look, the last date of this case is 10-16. Now, if we go back. That case, which was an armed habitual, they ended up changing it to something else. And that's where you get the CR from on this case. It's basically a, a trail from this one, y'all. It ain't two different cases. This is the same case. Now, look, look at the dates where it start off from. Like I said before, man, don't forget to smash that like button, man. It really, really, I, that really... Show me the appreciation. Y'all remember 506, the same day, defendant released on cash deposit bond. It doesn't show any type of arrest or detainment or anything because this is a carryover from the first one I just showed you. Now, this is the case he claimed that he beat. 
which he did beat. Let me show y'all this. He beat it with a motion. Motion for discovery. They got the discovery in this case on 531. Now, this is what beat his case. This was when they kept cl um, clubbing him upside his head for, you know, that monitoring stuff. Defending on electronic monitoring system. Um, Defending on, well, it should show four. If we see around the fourth, yeah, they ain't got the month that he went to jail in 22 on here. But it's on the other one. Petition for violation of kept, of bond bail sustained because that's when he messed up um, that electronic monitoring. Y'all remember that stuff. Continuous by argument. Now, as you can see here, motion for bail reduction failed. He tried to get a bail reduction back on January 3rd. It failed. Um, continuance bond reinstated. He got his bond reinstated um, on January 19, 2023. They reinstated his $10,000 bond that he bonded out on. Reinstated it. He got back on the electronic monitoring. Motion for bail reduction. I guess he must got bu booked again. Well, no, that's the motion that he got the bail reduction on. Same date. February electronic monitoring system. But here it go right here, man, where he beat the case. He beat it in a motion. Motion to squash arrest. I think he, it was motion to suppress evidence, and they got that to go through. Motion to suppress. Here it go right here. Motion to suppress sustained. So they suppressed that on December 5th. That's when he beat the case. December 5th. And as y'all can see here, cash bond refunded process forwarded to accounting department. Y'all know when y'all beat the case, um, you get a refund on your bond. And that is obviously what took place on the 20th of October. He beat the case on the 5th of October, 2023, with a motion to suppress. Yep, even his um lawyer got some of that um refund, cash bond refund to attorney. But with that being said, something really, really did come up that was very fishy in all of this. If y'all remember my video showing the paperwork, as you can see, RW indicated to the grand jury on March 22nd, 2022, that he has a case pending in the circuit court of Cook County for a possession of a gun. Now, Butter didn't catch that armed habitual case, the one that the case that we looking at until April 2022. Two months before speaking to the grand jury and telling them that he already has a pending case in Cook County for a pipe. But, y'all, I can't find that pending case nowhere, nowhere. And if and if those that say because he beat it, they still have the beaten case that he just beat in October on the docket. Those don't leave the docket and still stay on there even when you beat the case. As you can see here, it's 2015 still on here with him and Lil J. You see what I'm saying? That pipe case that Butter told the grand jury that he has pending. As you can see from the paperwork, he told them this on March 22nd, 2022, that he has a case pending in the circuit court of Cook County for possession of a gun. RW claimed that he was cooperating in this case without any consideration in the pending gun case because this wasn't my gun, even though RW admitted that law enforcement officials recovered a gun in his possession. So with that being said, Butter just beat this pipe case, the one he caught on 4-29-2022, but the one that he had pending prior to speaking to the grand jury on March 22nd, as you can see here again, 2022, that case is no longer there anymore. It disappeared. It's no longer like it was never there. He beat the one um and I, the one that he caught after speaking to. So, look, he caught a pipe case after speaking to the grand jury. He beat that one. But the one that he had pending before speaking to the grand jury, that one is completely disappeared, y'all. 
So I give it to him. He did tell the truth. He did beat the case that he caught. We can show the beginning of it here. And it ended October 5th this month. He beat it October 5th this, well, October 5th this year. Right? So this one he got booked originally, 430. This is when he first got the charge. 429, he went in. 430, they charged him. Defendant in custody, as you can see here. Probable cause to detain. They had all that. And he bonded out six days later. You see what I'm saying? And then, I guess, they gave him his actual formal charge. That's why it's a CR now. Instead of number CR, I mean criminal. The criminal division, this is his felony indictment. So this is actually the formal charges because it's the felony indictment. And this is the arrest it charges so it wouldn't be a fel felony preliminary hearing so that's what that's why it's too different because it's a hearing preliminary hearing on this one so they can see what actual charges they can go with and stick and then they finally hit them upside the head with the cr 0572201 now with that being said i don't know how butter was able to tell them a different initial you see what i'm saying but he did that some way somehow but as y'all can see here, man, we cannot find that pending gun case that he claimed to the grand jury that he told them last year. We don't see the pending case of that. So I feel as though that that is the pending case that was thrown out due to the fact that that one may have hold, held weight against him. This, this third one, he had that one beat. Clearly had that one beat. But the one prior to that, that one has now disappeared. It doesn't show that he won, lost, draw, or anything. It shows that it never even happened. So I want to know y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Did Butter get leniency on that second case? Because I can't find it nowhere. It's like it never existed. And the big O, gone.